The Australian team has developed the world's best qubits in silicon with the highest control fidelity and the longest quantum coherence times. However, to scale up to a full operational quantum computer, you need more than just many of these qubits. You need to be able to control and arrange them in such a way that you can correct errors quantum mechanically. To do this requires creating an architecture where the qubits are controlled in parallel across the entire array. In our work, we've developed a blueprint which is unique to our system for building a full-scale quantum computer. We've now got together experimentalists and theorists to design a system where we can actually do error correction. It's an unusual architecture, it's unique to silicon and it's unique to the donor system that we use. When you have a quantum computer there will be errors that you have to correct and we know various different error correction codes and the surface code is one of the best. In order to scale we must address multiple qubits at the same time. Here we have a two-dimensional grid. By applying voltages along the rails of this grid we can address multiple qubits in parallel. We use this to perform a series of operations one after the other. This lets us tell where and what type of errors have occurred. We can then correct those errors. So we have this fantastic idea for a large scale uh, surface code architecture, but the question is can we actually make this thing? Typically computer architectures are all built in one plane. And that means the wires have to go around to access the qubits in the center. We're looking to move into a three dimensional fabrication strategy, meaning we can have wires passing above and below the qubit objects in the center layer. And this really means that we can run the whole surface code in this architecture. Well, there are a number of challenges when you start to think about how you're going to actually operate this surface code in a practical device. If you can measure each of the qubits in parallel, then you can apply the surface code logic to it. So that if there are any errors in the operations, you can measure them, detect them, and then correct for them. So look, I'm very excited about this work. We've been working on this project for over a decade, but at the end of it, we actually want to build a practical quantum computer, which means we need an architecture. We've all been working towards this, and now we have an architecture that we can see, we can actually build a practical system and know that it's going to work. So the great thing about this is it gives us an endpoint, and we now know exactly what we need to do to get there first.